In other news now, Britain's Prince Harry will make his first public appearance today since Queen Elizabeth acceded to the wishes of her grandson and his wife, Meghan Markle, to step back from their senior royal roles and seek a more independent future. The prince, sixth in line to the throne, will host the draws for the next year's Rugby League World Cup at the Buckingham Palace in what is his latest or rather last scheduled engagement before he and Meghan begin a period of transition to their new roles. Harry wasn't the only one to make a public appearance amidst the uh, crisis within the royal family. Meghan Markle was seen at a women's centre in Vancouver uh, marking her own first public appearance. The centre posted a photograph on Facebook showing the Duchess of Sussex standing with the staff saying, look who we had tea with today. The caption read, the Duchess of Sussex visited uh, to discuss issues affecting women in the community. The strange father, meanwhile, of the Duchess of Sussex uh, could be called as a defense witness in her lawsuit against a prominent newspaper. Court papers reveal Meghan is suing the newspaper for publishing a letter she wrote to her father, Thomas Markle. The civil lawsuit accuses the newspaper of misuse of private information. Thomas Markle's strained relationship with his daughter has complicated Meghan's entry into the royal family. He, has, he had been due to walk Meghan down the aisle at her May 2018 wedding, but pulled out at the last minute, citing heart problems. And well, Benji Hyer, a we on correspondent, is now joining us live from London for the latest on this. Benji, thanks very much for talking to us. Uh, now, this is Harry's first public appearance since the announcement of their time away from royal duties, or uh, rather the rumours of a royal split. What can we expect? Well, he's actually just done his first public appearance, right. literally in the past couple of minutes. He was there partaking in the Rugby World Cup draw at Buckingham Palace. He was literally the man who was pulling out the balls from the hat, deciding which team was going to play who. Um, but apart from you know the big sporting event that the UK will be hosting next year that everybody is very proud of, a lot of the attention was given, of course, to Prince Harry in light of the royal crisis that has escalated in the past couple of days, given his announcement to step back from royal duties. And also his focus on this new mental health campaign because the Rugby World Cup, the Rugby League World Cup, which is different to the Rugby Union World Cup, two different sports, it will be uh, hosting uh, this new uh, mental fitness campaign to ensure that players, staff, coaches, even spectators are checking on their well-being, so on and so forth. And so he made a video, he spoke about it at the event as well. Uh, and the words that he said were as follows. He said that this is not just a sport, this is a community uh, that uh, sport is life-changing uh, and uh, it's also life-saving and therefore it's very important to ensure that people are mentally fit. And the real point he was trying to make is that when it comes to rugby, which is a very physical sport, the perception is that the players need to be tough. They don't need to think about their feelings. They need to get out there on the field and do what's best. But Harry was arguing that, in fact, actually, uh, you need to ensure that you are mentally strong as well as being physically fit. Well, absolutely. That's been, of course, a focus area for both Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle. Uh, Benji, thanks very much indeed for joining us and sharing all that detail, of course, of that public appearance that's already been made just a few minutes ago.